Alright, moving on to the next one. I wanted to learn more about Ichimoku time theory. Okay, okay. That's, you know, big request. <laughs> I cannot talk about time theory in like one hour. It's got a lot to say. Yeah, time theory, right? When, when it comes to like time theory, you have to look for, again, the highs and lows. Like right here, the highs and lows. Like these places. And you measure the number of the candlesticks. You measure the number of the candlesticks. And first, look for uh, the, can the number of the candlesticks and where it matches with the Kihon Suchi first. So either 9 or uh, 17, 26, 33, 42, 51, things like that. Uh, when you measure the intervals between highs and lows, measure the number of the candlesticks. And when you find it's 9, then take the next, measure the next 9 candles so that you may see the next low could be the nine candles afterwards, right? And then next high might be nine candlesticks afterwards. And in that case, you're gonna see that the market is really actually moving with this nine candlesticks intervals. And this is how you can actually identify or detect the time theory here. So that the pattern, right? You know, kind of the breadth of the market in time. How you look at the wave is only either I wave or a V wave in the range. When it's moving up, it's either N or I or sometimes V wave. But when it's in the range, you only find the V wave or I wave. Well, this is kind of sloping down, so this can be N wave. But this one right here is I wave because it's only moving up and the trend just stopped here. And when it's moving down to the same level, this might be a V wave. But in this case, it stopped in the middle. So this is this was I wave here. To be precise, this is like a little N wave because it's becoming like lower lows. Uh, probably it's in the same level, technically. So yeah, if you if you say it's in the same level, then that means this is not the N wave, but rather this is more like I wave, like a continuous I wave here. And when you look at it here, this can be V wave, like here. Uh, this one right here can be a V wave. And then another V wave was formed. Or this can be N wave, right? Moving down. And this is I wave here. Yeah, so this is I wave right here. Oops, hold on. I wave, things like that. And another I wave here, right? Another I wave. So when it's in the range like this, it's either I or V wave will be seen in the market. And depending on these I wave or V waves, you take the lows and highs here. You take the highs here, right? And lows, it's kind of a little bit not in place, all right? There you go. So you take the highs and lows here, take the highs and lows, and you calculate these numbers of the candlesticks here. So in try to see if you can see any patterns here in the market. From here to here, this is uh, how many four bars? Like four bars, right? Four candlesticks. And from here to here, this is like three bars, four bars. It's so narrow. So it's not really, I think, reliable in this case from this low to the next high here, it's like five bars. So yeah, like four bars or five bars intervals, the market is kind of breathing right right now. So after this, it's like five bars to the next low here. And then from the next low to the high, it's going to be five bars. The interval here is five. So five is market time cycle in this case. So from here to here, Right, the market has been moving in five time cycles. This low to this high, six bars or seven bars here. So it's a little bit longer than the previous. So and from this high to the next low, this is four bars. And from this low to the next high, it's going to be four bars here. So in average, it's moving in five candlestick intervals, right? From here to here, it's been moving five candlestick intervals. Um, from here to here. It's moving five intervals. That means you can expect the market to be reversed to the upside or downside in five candlestick time cycles in this case, according to the waves, right? If it's a I wave, that might be persistent for five candlesticks. And if it's a V wave, right, or I wave, the next I wave can be five candlesticks, things like that. If you think it's a V wave, it might be for the 10 candlesticks, right? So from the next V, from the start to the end, it might be the next 10 candlesticks, things like that. So this is kind of how you combine with the intervals and 
the wave patterns here, right? So after this, the market marked the highest here. How many candlesticks is that to the next low? It's nine bars, right? In nine, just happened to be one of the Kihon Suchi numbers here. From the top to the bottom here, it's been nine candlesticks. It's nine. Kihon Suchi number here. I wave Kihon Suchi here, right? So it was not like five. Right here, it was nine. I'm not sure if that was something related to the news or not, but yeah, it's kind of moving down, breaking the Kumo downwards here, right? Until you see the Kumo breakout, the market was range in five candlestick intervals here. And this is something that you can recognize by looking at the chart. Um, you can place a buy after the five candlesticks, either buy or sell. You can buy, you can draw a trend line or a, you know, a support line, resistance line, whatever. When you see it's the uptrend, highest price or lowest price, you can just place buy or sell and trade within the range in this five candlestick um, you know, time cycle. All right, so this is actually how you combine with the time cycle and also the waves. Well, actually, when it's on the trend, it might be easier to, for you to recognize, but that was the case in the range.